Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today we are going to model an interesting roof shape like this. I'm sorry we are not going to model whole building because it's going to take a lot of time for this video but you will learn how to model some kind of roof like this and you can continue if you want to model this up. So let's get into the tutorial. Here we are in ArcCAD and you know that I'm going to change the working unit system to centimeter. And now we need a wall for this roof. So we go to wall tool. As you can see it's a circle and an elliptic circle on to that. Therefore we start with a basic circle. When we click wall tool, we have the structure options. We click the simple and change the wall thickness to 20. And as for the height, it's going to be 30. And we are going to make a straight wall like this. Click the arrow tool, click our wall and click the edge and click the curve edge. We can change this shape like this and if you want a hole or half circle you can go to this tangent and with this tangent you can make a perpendicular line like so and you get a perfect half circle and you can click our circle wall and mirror from the center and of course we need some slab for that go to structure make it we make it so simple hit the space click the center and click the our slab and offset all edges there we go now we go to story one and right click ground floor and click show as terrace reference as you can see we can see our ground floor now and it's, trans it's translucent and by doing that we can override that shape with this slab tool click that slab tool the space and we can click these points and extend like so and maybe we can extend to here and click that part curve edge and reduce the size of the parts now we are going to split this apart once we have selected our floor we can go to this split and from this part to this part click that and click bottom part and just hit delete and select the remaining part over here input mirror and mirror from the center and in this example picture we don't have any wall onto that we have some railings so we are going to make the same go back to the kit and we go to this this railings and we are going to make a railing like that and click the same place to finish that and we can get rid of this extension or we can continue this shape like this after that we can turn this straight line to the curve as before go to the 3d window yeah i know this is this looks like looks like a modern shape and in the in this example it's all of all kind of woods and trees but it's very simple you can change your options from the settings of your ratings 
for instance you can use pavers timber fencing click that up and in the segments options you can change these values according to your design so let's click ok and click this slabs and ch change the materials to signing maybe where are our sidings yeah we have the sidening medium okay anyways let's create another level for our building we click this number two and click the insert above and click ok go to story three uncheck this trace or check go to story two again let's select our floor if we can where is our floor don't we have any floor it's in the story one okay let's go story one hit control plus c go to story two and paste here there you go now the problem is they are visible in the story two these readings so it's not important for this video tutorial but I'm gonna show you how how to close that visibility it's under the where is it this railings and you can change this show on all relevant stories and one story up open that menu up and just click that home story only and click ok now they are disappeared in the story too let's continue we can combine this two additional floors by clicking one of them and click the add to polygon with the space and click the second floor but as you can see it detects the interior part so we are gonna uncheck this three seconds and try that again like this there we go and let's get rid of that part but if we click this trace it's gonna show the ground floor because we did that option but this time we are going to click this show as trace reference for the story one and we are going to reduce this size and also for this part it's going to be like a leaf this is the top part of the leaf and leaf and this is the bottom part of the leaf and we are going to make our rule for this part so in order to achieve that we go to shell tool and change the structure type and change the thickness to 5 maybe and we are going to start somewhere here and make an extrusion to here and extend that along the building and go back to the 3d window this is an interesting shape but we are going to fix that at the vapors we are going to reduce the strength of the curve by clicking that blue edge and we are going to go to front elevation it's not south elevation let's close this and go to the go to the what's that west elevation we are in the west elevation 
we select our shell and we are going to rotate this from this point with Ctrl plus E you can right click and go to move and click this rotate maybe like so now we go to story 2 again and we are going to move this shell to other side of the building the point of that is this part will be extend to the center point after that we right click the shell and click the define shell contour click that and make a contour i don't know where to follow for this shape it's fully experimental with this video but i'm gonna try from this side to this side make a point and i'm gonna add another point here and another point there and another one here and another one to here after finishing that i click those edges and turn into curve edges and this inner side of the roof let's go back to the 3 with the window and this is what we get let's change this, this material to more organic organic shape actually we don't have any another wood type so i'm gonna make it this golden beige yeah it's more likely this color anyways let's reduce this thickness of the shell make this tracking and go back to the story to select our shell and mirror from the center we can okay and click our middle part shell middle part floor and copy to the third story and paste here what's happened here let's undo we have to select the whole shell not the this contour mirror again okay there we go now copy that floor again to the third story and this is what we get of course we are going to duplicate this shell to the story one all right let's go back our reference image and compare we have this roof parts and we have this roof parts but this is a bit more we don't have this roof part in the our reference image so we can delete this and delete this part but we are going to model this size and this side like this one therefore we go to story one and as for the settings for this shell if we can click these shells anyways let's click another create another shell we are going to create a shell as before at the first step we are going to
And now we are going to add some columns, maybe to here, click that and change the structure to circle and change the size to 10. Let's change the surface also to maybe this color. And we are going to make this stand angle and input here. 70 and rotates maybe 120 and rotate another 120 maybe we can change this location you can see the hidden line for the roof in the story one but we cannot see the top part of the columns. In order to see that, we can click our column. But instead of that, we go to floor plan and section. And we are going to select this show projection to floor plan reach to entire element. Now click that. Oops, that didn't work. Project, click the projected with overheads. Yeah, there you go. Now we can place our columns correctly according to our root position. So we are going to change the slant angle according to the shape. Now I'm gonna hit Ctrl plus U and click the rotate. Click the rotate that and click OK. First I click the center, second the target point and I'm gonna make this eyeball. Copy along the way and select all of the columns and mirror from the center. As you can see, this starts to make significance. Operation, subtraction with upward extrusion. Execute, and this is what we get. But it's going to take a time. I'm gonna pause the video and do that for you. All right, I have changed the colors, and I have added a door into that. And as for the last step. I'm not happy with the ending for this for this roof, so I'm gonna delete this and you can just leave as is or you can get rid of that curve and turn that into 
a straight line and also make this a straight line and close the roof like so and this is the final shape of our building okay guys i hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial please like and subscribe and have a nice day